You ever been in one of those situations where you might be at like a basketball court or something? You might be on a football field playing with your boys or something, and y'all having a good time. And then somebody comes up to you, one of the old heads, and says, Hey, man, back in my day, I used to shake people on the court. And you know what? I still got it. Or even if they come up on the football field and say, Ooh, I used to be more than people with one hand, but I can still do it. As a matter of fact, I can relate to that experience because when we hosted a flag football game a couple of years back, I felt like I still had it. And I did, but I, I was actually really tired, too. I was good for like a good six, seven plays, and I had to come out because I just, I was winded. But Eric Weddle, Eric Weddle seems to be that old head right now that's saying, I still got it. And he is going to be coming out of retirement to join a team that he played for before and had some success with before. And that is the, Ch no, not the Chargers. That is the Baltimore, Ra no, not the Ravens. That is the Rams. And you know the Rams, the Rams are down a couple of safeties um, with injury and another one is in the uh, concussion protocol. So I guess the Rams figured, man, why not? What's the worst that could happen? And you know what? I honestly, I, I ain't even, I ain't even mad at them, but I am concerned for them. And the reason that I'm concerned for them is because I, I didn't really get to watch Eric Weddle much as a Ram. Only that game where the Ravens blew them out and then Lamar threw that Jackson five touchdowns on. But anyway, besides that, I didn't really get to watch Eric Weddle in detail much as a Ram. But I do remember him thoroughly as a Raven. And the thing about Eric Weddle, one thing what a, what a lot of Ravens fans do without even no, no, noticing that they do it, they say, oh man, this player, and it'll be while the player is playing, or it'll be toward the end of a season. They'll be like, oh man, this player, he needs to come back as a coach. He needs to come back and coach whatever his position group is. I think he would be great at it. And what they do when they say that is that's their indication like, oh man, this player can't play no more. This player ain't really got it like that no more. And so many of them do it and they don't even realize what they're doing. They said it about Eric Weddle. They've said it about Jimmy Smith. They've said it about Mark Ingram. They've said it about so many different players. Oh, that player needs to come back and be a coach. They only say that when a player is not even just past his prime, but when they're well past their prime and it's like, oh, okay, this is... Yeah, th this ain't working no more. And they said it many times about Eric Weddle, but me, from my personal experience viewing Eric Weddle, the smarts were there. This guy was maybe the smartest person on the field when he played for the Ravens defense. This guy just got it. He had the leadership. He had the smarts. He, he knew what was happening before it happened. We saw it so many times with Eric Weddle. So many times. But his body just couldn't keep up. His body couldn't hang. His body just couldn't make the play. He wouldn't know where the play was going. And you would see the effort. He would be trying. But he just couldn't get there. And that's why Ravens were like, look, sorry. We got to let you go. And Eric Weddle even said, hey, if I ain't playing for the Ravens, then I'm retiring. That's it. I'm not playing for anybody else. I'm calling it quits. Ravens said, okay. We'll call you bluff. And he ended up signing with the Rams. Uh, but then that's okay. Because I know for players, players are people. A lot of people forget that these NFL players, they are people too. They're human beings. So when they say stuff like that, I don't really believe them, but I don't get mad at them. Why? Because... They get caught up. They get caught up with the emotion. They, they love these teams that they play for. They love the players that they play with. And they get caught up in stuff like that. Anquan Bolden did the same thing with the Ravens. He was like, hey, when they th threatened him with being traded or cut or taking a pay cut, I mean, he was like, no, I, if, if I ain't playing for the Ravens, I'm not, I'm not taking a pay cut. But if I'm not playing for the Ravens, then I'm retiring. I ain't playing for nobody. They traded him to the uh, 49ers for like a six-round draft pick. So anyway, and, and he played. <laughs> but anyway, uh, with Eric Weddle, this is going to be interesting to see. And, and the world's going to get to see it, too. Well, the world's going to get to see every playoff game because none of them are going to play at the same time. And they're all going to be nationally televised. But this one is on Monday Night Football. Monday Night Football. 
So all this anticipation to the Eric Weddle return, all this anticipation to the buildup, it's going to be fun. But it's very important that the Rams, their defensive coordinator, it's important that whoever's calling the plays on defense, that they do their best to put Eric Weddle in positions to succeed. Don't put too much on his plate. It's been, what, two and a half years since he's played. I think his last season was 2019. So it's been a little while. It's been a little while. Um, so it's, but it's important that they do not put too much on his plate. It is it's so important. Uh, he is, again, very smart. Very smart guy, but at the same time, he's been out of football for a while. Not saying that he will have lost his smarts. Because I don't think you lose your football smarts. If anything, you gain even more because you'll see an outsider's perspective. And I'm sure Eric Weddle, we know he did a lot of film study when he was an insider. But now as an outsider, he can look at things from an even broader viewpoint. But anyway, um, it's just important that they put him in the right position. Now, you know, when people see whatever number he's going to wear out there on the field, they're going to go after. They're going to go after. So, again, it's important. Now, Eric Weddle might be like, hey, I'm... <laughs> I'm refreshed. Oh, I, I feel good. Dun, 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 dun. But when he gets that first tackle, when that person initiates contact with him for the first time, because practice is one thing. He's he going to get that in practice uh, over these next couple of days because you, you got a little bit of time left. Today is Wednesday. You got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you got a little bit of time to get some contact in. Don't, don't do too much contact because you don't want to get fined by the NFL. I know as a Ravens fan, Harbaugh does it. But anyway, you <laughs> we're Eric Weddle, man. It's, we, it's, I, I'm, I, I can't wait to see how this thing goes, really. I, I'm hoping for the best for him. I really am. Um, the teams uh, not, that my Ravens are out, teams that I would like to see win it all, would either be the Rams uh, or the Packers. I would love to see either one of those two teams win it all. Rams or the Packers? Um, and everybody else, like, oh, okay, whatever. Uh, but it should be a fun playoffs. Got some good matchups this weekend. Um, so it should be a, uh, a really good time. And then our first historic, first Monday Night Football playoff game. So anyway, like Eric Weddle is no longer when it comes to being in the NFL, I'm out.